Welcome back everybody. I thought I'd make a quick follow up to my last video, as this game has only been out for a few days, and yet things are moving rapidly and much of the information I talked about in my previous video is already outdated. Firstly though, I'd like to make a couple of quick corrections. In my last video, I mentioned that Trench Broom was originally developed for Source games. This is incorrect, and it was actually developed for Quake and Quake Engine games. Secondly, in the previous video, I talked about the possibility of decompiling the source code for Celeste 64. This is actually unnecessary, as the developers have kindly released the source code under the MIT license, meaning anyone is free to use it in any way they please. In particular, this should make the development of mods with custom code much easier. Now let's get on to the news. The mod that I released in my last video required a bit of manual work to install, but this is already unnecessary, as development has now started on a mod loader, Fuji, led by Lady Jazzrabbit. It's still in a very early form, but the mod loader is already able to easily and automatically load custom maps, models, audio and more. Development is progressing rapidly, and there's already discussions taking place on loading custom code, so I'll be sure to keep you up to date with the current state of Celeste64 modding in a future video. Secondly, there's now a Discord server specifically for Celeste64 modding. The server is still in its infancy and is pretty quiet right now, but this will be the go-to place if you want to keep up to date with Celeste64 modding news and get involved yourself. That's all for now. If you'd like to support the channel and get early access to what I'm working on, like pre-release builds and source code, be sure to become a patron on my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.